Oh, hey, would you like to see a project highlight? This is a NCV3, meaning a 2016 Sprinter van. It's a 144. Started out as a passenger van. Was built back in 2016 by the owner. Back then you kind of outfitted these things with what was available and here we are, it's 2023 I think, right? A lot more products available to build these out. So we removed the original cabinet tree and I've actually got some cool footage we'll sprinkle in here showing some of the ingenuity of the original build and what they did to uh, make things work back then. So we're building this out with Saga cabinetry, of course. We've got our refrigerator box, the sink box, and a drawer box in here. And then going to the back is some custom cabinets. But this started out as a passenger van. So there's a big difference between building out a passenger van and a cargo van. Passenger vans have creature comforts packed into these, like an additional heater and an additional AC unit, those kind of create some difficulties with building out a camper van. Another thing the passenger vans have are windows all around. We ended up adding a T-vent window behind the driver there to get some ventilation. Start here, we've got a long coin floor and our subfloor placed on it. So all new floor on the bottom of the van, it still had the original factory floor that's been removed. Um, but this big gaping hole here is where the factory AC unit sat. And uh, here's a factory AC line coming up, probably the high pressure side and, or low, I don't know, I'm not an expert on these things, but this runs all the way up into your AC unit. So one option is to put a, a sunroof or a hatch roof here, but this client didn't want to go with that. We're just going to patch the top, put the original headliner back in. But we've got all new lighting on here, so it'll have its own camper light circuits. You won't be re relying on the old Mercedes dome lights that turn on when you open up a door. Maple countertop, kind of uh, one of our standard countertops. Maple and walnut are two that we like to use a lot. And then the drawer box has been modified and we'll see that there's a heat exchanger on the low spot here now. And that is because we're using a van life tech. I think it's the Siesta system. So this has diesel fired water heater and then a uh, diesel coach heater. The coolant runs through there. So the custom cabinetry back here contains a Tetra van shower system. Uh, this is the curtain here that will drop down from the ceiling. Uh, and you have your hot cold adjustment and then a shower wand here that'll get a mount set up. So that's kind of a cool shower system. It's low profile, uh, it stashes away, it drains down through the floor to a gray water tank. You do have to remove one of the Moab bed leaves out of the way to set up the shower, but it's not too big of a, a deal to do that. Over here is gonna get our electrical system. We're sticking with a 12 volt base. Well, back up, rewind. We're uh, going with a 48 volt system. So we're using uh, the Dyness 48 volt batteries. I think we're doing one. There's room for two in here and uh, it'll be a full Victron based charging system, inverter, all that good stuff. Additional electrical, there will be a solar up top to support it. And we're doing alternator charging too off of the uh, chassis motor. So kind of a cool lightweight, air quotes lightweight build in terms of having hot water, having good power and being off grid kind of ready for that overland lifestyle set up here room for bikes and gear all right moving here this is going to be uh, an upholstered bench so you can sit down we're probably going to have a table lagoon style table mount that'll 
mount here or that side so you can be swivel seats or hanging out. This zone right here is just a storage cubby. It's gonna have a, a lid that attaches on. Um, and then this one here is just a box to house a little, little cassette toilet. So you pop those out. You can pull the cassette toilet out if you want or just use it here and just poop and see the world out there. Cool, yeah, and that's pretty much it for now. On the exterior of this van, we haven't really done much. It's got new wheels and tires on it, owl van ladder tire carrier, and an Illumines front bumper. But uh, I can pop the hood quick, actually. Let's look underneath here. Underneath here, we're actually in the process of putting in a catch can system for oil blow by and uh, keeping the motor running clean and longer. That's another thing that we're adding on there. So that's it. We'll uh, follow up with this when it's done and all put together. It's definitely a cool little build, 